Do you notice how life just never seems to pan out the way you uh, expect it to? Like you have this set path in your mind as, as to how things are going to work out, and yet that when they do follow their natural progression, things never, the path is never the same however you plan it. And I've always had an intuitive understanding about that, but recently I played a game uh, called Tsuro, T-S-U-R-O. Brilliant game, lots of fun, thoroughly recommended you play it. We went up to Sheffield for my partner's birthday and some friends took us to this restaurant that has a, a wall, a huge wall just full of games and people eat their meals and drink and talk and they play these games and this was the game that we played. And there are up to eight players <clears throat> and you've got your square board and on the edge of the board you put your pieces and you take little tiles that have squiggles in them. Uh, on them that go from one edge to another edge um, and, the op and, and the objective of the game really is just to travel across this board and people are placed and moving into the board from every edge from every direction and they're placing their tiles along and it creates a path and they've become important parts, there have become significant parts in the game where people's paths begin to cross. So you may be heading for one direction, but you'll interact with somebody else's path and it will send you off in a completely different place. And I just thought that this description, this visual description, beautifully illustrated how life can be. How chance meetings send your life off in a completely different direction. Reading a book will send your life off in a completely different direction. It will help you to see things in a completely different way. Um, a conversation, a film, an advert on the TV can completely change your perspective on things. And that makes life really exciting. And it means that life is a constant learning and a constant unfolding. So the inevitable end point to the game is always that a path leads you off the board. And this is something that although we uh, accept it and although we have a intellectual understanding of this, Coming to terms with that is also a very, very challenging part of life, yet something that over time we need to come to accept and understand. So anyway, Tsuro, really, really good game, lots of fun to play with a group of people, uh, but also an interesting life lesson that I thought it was worth sharing. Anyway. My name is David Brown. I'm the founder and director of Potentiality Coaching. Uh, if you like the kind of stuff that I'm talking about, then please come over to the YouTube channel. Uh, I've also got a group on Facebook, the Potentiality Coaching group on Facebook, where I'm posting constantly and trying to get discussions going with all the members of that group. Uh, hope to hear from you and see you online at some point, if not in person. Thanks for listening.